All right, I'm 365 days of horsemanship, day 79. Um, yeah, gosh, everything is so peaceful here <laughs> now that Ven's gone. Um, Lawrence is back with his herd. Mia is doing okay. Um, it was really nice, actually. Um... You know, she's a bit bumped and bruised from uh, from four days with a stallion, three days, four days with a stallion, which is, you know, pretty normal. Um, and it's been nice, actually, today because I was able to really have things to do that I could take care of her. And that's a very great position to be in with Mia because, you know, as I've always discovered in the past, she doesn't need very much. And it's been quite a good opportunity today because, you know, her back legs need hosing and she's really itchy. You know, she's got all these little scuffs and grazes and... And it's just been really good to be able to do something for her that is good for her and sort of shows me to be a good leader. Like it makes it very easy to be a good leader for her today. Um, because it's quite rare, you know, that she really needs taking care of. Um, and I think, you know, she's tired, it's hot, you know, I don't think she's feeling her best. You know, she's probably missing Van. And so it's nice as well because I think it just feels like she's a little bit more open today. You know, the barriers aren't quite so far up. Um, and she's just that little bit more motivated to engage with my presence. So that was really nice. Um, it was probably about 15, 20 minutes I spent in there with her. And she's in quite a small paddock at the moment because she's resting. It was great because I was able to play with the hosing um, with freedom-based training, um, essentially as much as I could and yeah and that went really nicely actually um because i was just able to follow her around i was able to kind of put that that water on and just follow her with it basically and yeah and actually got to a place where she was really enjoying it and i've been doing it for long enough that she really was happy to be doing it which was really great um basically i just it took me a little while to sort out the pattern but basically what i ended up doing was um following her with the hose and the thing is when she's walking and she's further away i have to like sort of spray the hose out which is actually more annoying for her so it works quite well because it means that then as she slows down the water becomes more controlled um, and it's not, you know, spraying her everywhere. And so that's nicer. Um, I mean, it's not, you know, entirely freedom-based training because that pressure is there with the water, but you know, she's free to leave at any time. Um, and not putting any, you know, there's no, there's no discipline or punishment if she, you know, does the wrong thing. Like, you know, this is just the situation. She can walk away if she wants, I'm going to walk with her. Um, you know, she's obviously trapped because she can't walk away from the water. But it's pretty, you know, it's pretty low level. It's about as low as I can kind of make it in that situation. And, you know, ultimately, if she'd have started trotting, which she could have done, you know, I wouldn't have chased her with it. Um, yeah, but so I, so then, you know, I would stand there with her with it. And then as soon as I got the focus change or a better feeling, then I would stop like move the hose away, move to a different place of flow, take a couple breaths and then start again. And quite quickly, I found that she actually was realizing that actually, you know, the water's quite nice. It's quite nice that it's cold, you know, it's quite hot today, which helps as well. Um, so that was really nice. And, you know, I had some really nice moments with her where I was scratching her and she just felt a lot more, felt a lot more there, a lot more, sort of present in the act of the grooming um and there were a couple of moments towards the end where I really felt like she was just enjoying my presence and we were just grazing together and that was really nice too so all in all it was pretty good I was pretty happy with it 
Um, yeah, went to see Lawrence. Um, he had a good session with him. Definitely, um, because Mia's now resting, you know, it's not like I can take her back in the arena and crack on with all the stuff that we're doing. You know, she's going to need to rest and recover. I definitely have found myself, you know, kind of wanting to get on, like wanting to do something with someone. Um, and I think that's been nice. It sort of gave me a little push today to be a little bit, to ask a little bit more of Lawrence. Um, and actually that went quite well. Um, and basically what I did was I just, um, did some more walking. So we did a lot of massaging today and a lot of itching. And we had some really nice massaging moments around, um, his hindquarters. And I would say like his, um, well, wow, it's not lumbar. Um, I would say his iliac spine. Um, we we had some really nice engagement of muscles, which is exactly what I want from him. I'm really feeling like, in a lot of ways, it's almost like like when I'm massaging massaging him. He's using his muscles more than he ever was when I was working him in the arena. Because when I'm working him, you know, he's doing like the least possible amount of effort. And he's like, you know, he's got a really bad form and a really bad outline. Whereas with the massage, if I can like get the right spot, like he'll really like contract up everything. And, you know, like isotonic um, stretches, which are the name for, you know, stretches or contractions where you're not in movement, like when you're, sta when you're stationary, you know, are not anywhere near as powerful as isometric for movement, but they have their own benefits and it is still working out those muscles and getting that initial strength. It's, you know, literally engaging the use of those muscles. Um, so I'm really happy with that. And then in between all of those, um, I was just walking basically and just walking until he decided to make a movement towards me uh, and that was good because I really felt like I could see how if I was consistent with that and I added this new thing in where I walk during our sessions and then he walks with me that over time it could be a place where I can uh, like the questions that I ask become more and more because sometimes you know I ask for walk I ask him to you know I walk and he walks with me and then you know I I don't know like yield with him and then we do some nice massaging you know and over time, everything starts to become a part of those sessions where he's happy about it. Um, so that was really nice because that felt like a big shift for sure. Um, yeah, very interesting. It's like the roles are reversed. You know, suddenly I'm doing all the physical stuff with with Lawrence and all the caretaking stuff with Mia. Um, but all, all in all, you know, it was a good day. Um, I definitely feel very stagnant at the moment. I feel like I'm in, you know, that plateau feeling. But you know what Elsa talks about? Plateaus not always being the worst thing. Um, definitely, you know, I'm also in this place where I have my own ideas about what I think is right and wrong. And like, for me personally, and or the right direction or the wrong direction for me to currently be moving in. Um, and it's quite challenging for me to kind of balance where I think I should take the advice of others versus where I should trust my gut instinct. Um, and just keeping that confidence in myself is definitely definitely really important so yeah so we're going to see how it goes we're going to see how these next few weeks pan out um, yeah fingers crossed everybody heals and Lawrence and I you know continue to make good progress